So I've been going through some of my images recently, uh, curating them for a project I've been working on for the last little bit. Um, and I started to look at the, the things that I like to put in my images. Of course, you've probably seen the reflections and the abstract elements. But I also noticed that there was quite a bit of movement. Now, showing movement in your images can be done in a number of different ways. And it's a really cool thing to do to make your images a little bit more dramatic. Two obvious ways to show movement in your images are long exposures, whereby we slow down the shutter in order to show the movement as a blared motion in the images, or the exact opposite of that, where we speed the shutter up. And while we don't actually see the movement, we see the effects of movement when we freeze a bird in flight or something of that nature. Other ways to show movement in your images is things like panning, whereby we slow down our shutter to a point where when we follow a subject, they remain sharp, but everything else has motion blur. We can also combine some of these things, say show a static person in a bustling city, as I've shown in pictures recently. So I was thinking, I wanna do more of this. I wanna put more of these things into practice. So in the morning, I'm meeting up with Mike and I am gonna do just that. So I'll see you in the morning. Right, good morning, everybody. We are looking for some busier areas. Um, the sun is about to come out, so to make sure I'm gonna be able to get some long exposures, I'm using a six stop ND on the camera that'll allow me to get the shutter speed slow enough to create that blare. And of course I will take it off when it comes to doing the freezing motion type shots. But yeah, we're just now looking for an area where there's plenty of people and plenty of traffic. Yeah. Oh, that one might work. That was quite cool. So we've decided to start with some panning shots, which means I've taken the ND filter off, but I get a feeling that this street's a little bit too narrow. Um, even at 28 mil on this lens, it still feels like it's a little bit tight. So I think we're gonna move down um, in that direction over there to the street where it's much wider and it's also a bus route. You're gonna have vehicles moving a little bit more quickly and probably more of them. So this place is probably a better space to do this. We've got a bit more um, distance between us and the subject. But there's a couple of types of shots I want to get here. See how the guy over there stood at the bus stop. Good shot, I think, or a fun shot would be to have him stand in there as a bus whizzes by, do a long exposure so that the bus is nicely blurred out, that kind of thing. But then also, of course, because we've got more space, uh, try the panning shot again. Of that one. Double decker coming down. So I want that guy just to the left of that bus stop where he is now, but I want him to stop moving. Just like that, perfect. So when this double decker bus comes down from the right, hopefully, he will still be in that position and I will get this shot. Right, cyclists coming down by the looks of it in a high-vis uh, jacket. Hopefully they're moving fast enough to be able to do a panning shot. There's another one coming down from the right as well, so that might be worth having a look at. Well, oh, giving it big licks, let's have a, let's see what we can get. Need a bit more blare in it though, so I think slowing it down just a little bit, it won't quite move in there fast enough for, uh, for a 20, 
fifth of a second right, motorbike. Was any of them, <laughs> were any of those in focus? Not even the first one. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna keep the camera set up and ready to go and see what we can get on the way to another coffee, but quite happy with what I've got so far. Is this motorcycle coming this way? Nah, it's not, is it? And hold on. Center of the art gallery. The guy over there always feeds the pigeons, as you can see, they uh, tend to like him. So it turns out that. Freezing motion is significantly easier than finding something worth freezing. We had like four or five hours out there and we didn't see a single skateboarder. Um, we didn't see um, you know, anybody doing anything fun worth freezing. The pigeon man went away with all of his pigeons. And in hindsight, the, uh, the photograph at the art gallery, that one should have been frozen as opposed to a long exposure, but I was already set up for a long exposure, so there we go. Speaking of long exposures, I was really happy with the ones um, at the bus stop, the guy with the bus stop, those two images, pretty happy with those. Panning shots, not so much. Wasn't really much in the way of uh, interesting things to pan. To pan? So I would love to know your thoughts on movement in photography, uh, how you like to capture movement. You know, do you like to just freeze all the stuff? Do you like your long exposures, that kind of stuff? Let me know what you thought of the images in the comments down below as well, and I will see you in the next one.